Good morning guys. This is Monday morning. It's going for 8 and I am going to take my COVID test. For the first time ever. The nerves guys, like that thing goes in your nose, Claire. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, anything for poetry. See you there. What you call unexpected cardio. Like, right. So, let me just give you a little backstory. Um, I thought I knew I was supposed to test for COVID, right? And then when I get there, they're like, oh no, we just do those, you know, rapid tests, nothing hectic. If you want to cross, you don't go here. You have to go like they tell me this other place, which is over there where I am going. So now I have to walk. Now, mind you, I'm trying to like, you know, catch up with time because if I'm late, then, you know, um, it's going to cause problems for me. Yo, yo. This, this this cardio was just un unexpected, unanticipated. Yes, yes. But, you know, <laughs> I feel so good because I'm like finally here. I hope now that I'm here, nothing's going to go wrong. Like, I really pray. I'm just covered by the blood of the lamb. Honestly, because I, I really, I really deserve this break. I just really deserve this break, this breather. Also, um, I now have my hood back on because, like, my hairstyle really isn't the one. <laughs> it doesn't look like it from the front, but it's really, it's really not the one to show in front of people. Now, since I was walking a longer distance than I thought, I had to now cover up my head, which is also like a bit annoying for me because what's the hell? What's the hell? This face is too pretty to hide. I can't even see myself here. That's that's how much I've walked. I'm a bit dizzy. I'm I'm also nervous. Like I haven't been anywhere. I haven't done anything hectic. I've been careful, but I'm so nervous. Like, eh, yo, goes. Anyways, yeah. Here goes a little nothing. Ah, nefika. I've never been to the side of town in my life. And I've been in Tlangana for like more than a decade. So I am done and I'm so happy they tasted my throat. They gave me a throat sword. Mudimo hayu. So I guess everything is gonna be sorted tomorrow. I pray to God they don't mess things up for me, honestly. <sighs> pray to God they don't waste my time. Those results better be negative. They better be in Jesus' name. But yeah, I'm walking back to the house now. I'm just gonna get myself a few snacks. Um, just chips, sour for the journey because hey, man, <sighs> wasn't big and close, but like it ain't far, but like it ain't close. So I gotta chew along the way since I can't drink. Me not being able to drink is mostly because my bladder is so small. Shame. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Mostly just being able to come back and talk to you guys. It's been the longest time. Um, mostly because my mentals wasn't right. My finances wasn't right. The industry and events weren't right, so you know you can't, you can't really have a sit down. You can't really go anywhere. It was just a mess. But I'm back. I'm gonna give you 
a little bit of consistency, I promise. So yeah, love and light. Good morning. This is me leaving right now at 10 minutes past 6. Not because I was late, even though I was, but this is because the gate man decided to lock the gate so now I have to go around looking for a gate man so they can open for me imagine imagine but also some advice from me don't don't snooze your alarm my alarm was off went off at 4 30 and I was just like okay let me just in fact let me pray first then get out of bed wasn't a good idea I found myself wondering hmm What's happening? Open my eyes and then reached out to my phone and I saw oh, it's 5.30 so I have 30 minutes to bath, to um, get dressed, make sure that I've packed everything that I need and go. Hectic. So, I'm not, ooh, see now if I have the pictures clear. I'm, I don't look so bad. I don't look so bad. Um, that's a record show that I'll undo my hair once it gets moss. Um, I'm currently looking like this because I really don't care. Um, it's not that much of a big deal. Oh guys, it's not computers, but if you do have them, if you, do you have the name of the director? Can you send it to me on WhatsApp? We take. I will take one. Okay. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, what about you? Wait, they have the name Emma with an H. Yeah, hello. What's wow. up? You look like in a, you're in a movie, I swear. Sorry. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> I swear. My friend, yeah. my friend, my friend. My friend. Uh oh. <laughs> I think it's not your friend. <laughs> Put up like, like, do your glasses like, be, be, like, be smexy. Jeez. She be looking smexy for no reason. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> when people come and take pictures of that, uh. Hey. Which part do you see? Are you with No, I don't want to. I don't want to. Thank you. Sorry. Can it be see you? Oh, I'm
Russian menu. Like there's other different things going on there. Oh my. He speaks very much English. <laughs> You claim you have love to give, but you are too selfish, even to your own flesh and blood. But I'm generous, even to you, cold creature, so I'll give you a piece of my mind. The woman you impregnated, she was once a flower. No yeast, so her children are self-raising, fatherless because you were less of a father to them and she raised them on her own best believe women take care of their own and you the insects after her nectar just pollinated and abandoned her the only thing you left to your seed is a few features for resemblance but you are not a father Think of the birthdays you have missed, the school recitals, the class games that you always missed. What about those texts informing you of the school fees, medical bills? You go to sleep after a sumptuous dinner and you don't know the last meal your child ate, no shoe or clothing size, so how can you be called a father? You forget, you forget that time is ticking and the wheel is turning. There will come a time when you will need your child to take care of you, to nurture you. How can she forgive you then when her peers would ask her, where is home? And she had no response, yet she would see you every last day of the month at the grocery store, but still couldn't come and say, Father, she might as well have come from a test tube, because you are just a sperm donor, pretending that all is well and saying, but I use protection. A child is not a sketch of pencil on paper, so you can't use rubber to erase her. Thank you. 